We head overseas now. There are new images of the heroic takedown on the London Bridge. Heroes stepping up with makeshift whip weapons, you see it here, to stop a convicted terrorist who went on a rampage, killing two people with a knife. And tonight, there are troubling questions about why that convicted terrorist had been released from prison after serving just half of his sentence. ABC senior foreign correspondent Ian Panels in London. Tonight, tales of heroism emerging in the terror attack on London Bridge. This video showing people fighting back with anything they could get their hands on. They used fire extinguishers, they used chairs, they used these narwhal tusks ripped off the wall in the heat of the moment. I'm proud to know them. The two dead, now identified as 25-year-old Jack Merritt, working in the justice system. His family saying he always took the side of the underdog. And 23-year-old Saskia Jones, also a graduate of Cambridge. Her family saying she saw the best in all people. This is an attack on uh, our community in many ways, and it was intended as such. The attacker, Usman Khan, was killed by police at the scene. The authorities say he had ties with al-Qaeda and was recently released from prison, serving half of a 16-year sentence. In this BBC interview from 2008, Khan denied he was an extremist. These labels, what they put in on that terrorist, this, that, they will know I ain't no terrorist. Khan was one of 75 convicted terrorists freed early. Now, Prime Minister Boris Johnson calling the laws allowing for this early release ridiculous and repulsive. They are being properly invigilated so as to ensure there is no threat. Tonight, services held for the victims of the attacks while two others remain in hospital. All right, Ian Panel joins us now live from the London Bridge. Ian, authorities have announced an additional arrest from that list of 75 con convicted terrorists that were released early. Yeah, that's right. One man is now in custody, a 34-year-old man arrested on suspicion of preparation of terrorist attacks, although police are stressing that it wasn't in connection with the attack here at London Bridge on Friday, but there is now growing pressure here in Britain to review sentencing guidelines. Tom? All right, Ian, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.